my energy always. Hey guys, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman Absolution. Today is a uh, kind of a side. It's an extra little stage. Uh, we don't have to stress out. We don't have to kill people or worry about having our cover blown. All we have to do is uh, pick up a new suit because. After that whole debacle in Operation Sledgehammer, uh, you know, we really need a new suit, you know? So, uh, let's, let's get to that. Let's do that. I don't know. I don't, can I, can I complete this stage in hard? Well, I'll do my best. Oh, you got a new car. Hmm. Oh, it's the hearse. Okay. Going back to Chicago, back to Chai Town. Is that how they say it, Chai Town, or is it Chai Town? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, very dramatic music here. Where's forty-seven going? Oh, right, Blackwater Park. I forgot about that. No. Oh. Tommy Clemenza. Who is Tommy Clemenza? Maybe he's some kind of hardened gangster or something? Maybe some mafia hitman that 47's gonna ask for help on his last mission? Ugh, man, this guy looks like shit. Get some wet naps or something. 47. Huh? Tom, I need a new suit. Oh, Mr. 47. What a pleasure. Oh. Yes, yes, I can tell. You need a new suit. Now, please follow me. <laughs> come this way, come this way, come on. So. Come to my dressing room. Does this guy, uh. Does this guy know that, uh. 47 is Agent 47? Does he know that he's the hitman? Please, step inside, 47. Um, oh, okay. Let's do that. Oh, it looks nice. Nah, oh, we don't get to see 47 naked again. Oh, nice. It's quite an improvement over your old suit. Look. Is it? Handcrafted wall. Reinforced seams. Invisible stitching. And, of course, silk linings. Hmm. Well, it looks nice. I kind of think it's funny that Tommy Clemenza here had a suit ready and waiting for 47 the next time he came in. Huh. They're yeah, looking pretty snazzy, I gotta say. Let's check out uh, Clemenza's shop before we leave, though. Because that's really part of the fun. Hmm. All right. For Tom. What? Garradine Gold. Well, it seems like a lot of people enjoy Clemenza's suits. Oh, let's see. Casual. Sophisticated. That's right. Oh, let's wreck his place. Why not? What? I can't throw? Well, can I murder an old man? Can I do that? Come on. Come on. I'm hitting the Q key as hard as I can. Alright. Can I drop it? There. Fits like a glove. <laughs> Would there be anything else? Hmm. Oh, uh, let's see. You know, I always wanted to get myself a custom-made suit. I'll just wait up here. Okay, while I snoop around your basement. All right. Um, I always wanted to get a custom suit, but uh, never really had a reason to do it. You know, I, I don't have a social life. I uh. I don't, I'm not a businessman, I, so I don't require a suit. 
And, uh, I don't have any funerals to go to, so there's no real reason for me to buy a suit. Hmm. So here's some disguises that were unused, I guess. There's this one here. And this is the the chili pepper chef, I guess, as you, as you can see here. That there's chili peppers hanging over his, uh, his shoulders here. Um, kind of looks like seaweed, actually. Over here is the ice cream, man. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. And here is a sewer worker. And the sewer worker here has uh, an air tank so that he can breathe while he trudges through the poo. Oh, here's evidence. What the fuck? Why the fuck would there be evidence in this place? I don't understand. And if we want to drop our fiber wire, we can use a tape measure instead. What's this one over here? Ha! <laughs> nice! You guys remember this outfit, right? From Blood Money? Yeah, you remember it. Oh, uh, hey, and you remember this lady too, right? From uh, the Heaven and Hell club stage in Blood Money? I remember. She tried to kill us with a knife. Uh, what's up there? Weird. Club wielding thug terrorizes neighborhood. So, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but he's wearing the chili pepper chef outfit, but he's actually wearing the devil mask uh, that the CIA agent war in in the heaven and hell club stage huh must be one of the developers kids or something all right and that's it i think i don't think there's any other things to look at so i'm just gonna put on this lovely suit that tommy clemenza gave us and head on out okay i'm just gonna walk up here Anything else to say, Tommy? Hmm? Um. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I, I know you're blind, but, I mean, surely you can feel that there's nothing there, right? Maybe he's stroking his invisible tiger or something. Alright. I think, I think I've had enough of this, uh. Let's, let's get out of here. Let's uh, continue on our adventure. Bye-bye, Tommy. I'll see you next time. <laughs> mm, now I'm ready. Now I'm going to kill some more people. And apparently he's not going to take his, uh, his hearse with him. You know, one thing I remember from the promotional material and the trailers and things from when the game was first coming out is that, oh no, I didn't get the book, God damn it. Um, one thing I noticed is that the, uh, the tailor in the promotional material, I think it's a trailer or maybe just an image, uh, is actually afraid of 47. He, he dreads 47 when he enters the shop. Because he knows there's something off about him. But in the game, Tommy's like a close friend. And it makes you wonder if, uh, you know, does he know that he's the hitman? Maybe he just doesn't say anything about it? Or maybe he just thinks that he's an odd man who likes to be called 47. Who knows? Anyway, I'm Nick Meister, and this is Let's Play Hitman Absolution. I'll see you next time.